Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to get your acoustic mix ready part 6 mastering. So where we left off our previous videos how to bounce out our project so we left it in our after our bounce. So what we're going to do out is we're going to create a new project so we're going to go File, New, we're going to close this project and save it. And we're going to create an audio track. What we're going to do is we're just going to find our audio track in our finder. So where we bounced out our mix is that acoustic mix bounce. We're going to click and drag it in. Now this is an interleaves file and we're going to import any tempo changes because there will be some. Wait for that to load in and finish creating our track. So that is our bounced mix. What we're going to do is we're going to turn some of the tail off because we don't want all that. Perfect. So just like that, let's just check the outputs are correct. Lovely. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the mix ready for, bounce, uh, for mastering. It's dead easy because we've done all the effects on our bounce already from the mix version. What we're going to do is we're going to listen through to it, but before we do that, we're going to add a few settings to the stereo output just as a mastering tool. So we're going to put some mastering on a pop final mix and we'll listen back to it whilst we edit at the same time. And we're going to put it on a compression as well. Let's have a quick look at compression tools. Let's just find a simple compression tool now we will listen to these whilst the tools are on but we'll turn them on and off during the playback just to have a quick listen just trying to find one which will just be good for what we need hmm let's just see we may just leave the compression let's turn the compression off and just see what the eq sounds like here we go let's play the track back if you keep an eye on the EQ, you'll see that I'm editing the EQ as we go along. This is what our mix sounds like before the EQ. This is what our mix sounds like with the EQ. So as you see there, I've added a little EQ unit to it and a little compression unit. So now all we're going to do is we're going to just play back our EQ and have a little listen. So there's the EQ and I think it sounds really good. Our next bit is the compression. Let's have a listen without the compression and the EQ on. What's mine? Now let's add the compression unit to it. We both know this plan has its flaws. Things you usually master to a quite a high output level. Now this is we've obviously increased the output level by two more dB. There's no clipping going on, and we've adjusted the threshold, and you can see that the threshold is working. So I've tried. By this purple bar here, which is our threshold. That is now ready to be exported out as our master mix because I'm happy with just adding those two effects to it so it's now ready for mastering. So what we do is we command B again 
and we add a bit of just noise dithering at the end just to increase so just normal dithering uh, we do it 44.1 16 bit and we export and we name it the acoustic mix but we name it the master so so acoustic mix dash master dot bad lovely thanks for watching don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates thanks again goodbye